Hey guys, and welcome back to another brand new video for you today. This month kind of took a turn. Nothing crazy happened. This month started out, I went out of town and then I got back and literally started a new job. <laughs> I think I mentioned it in my previous video, but yeah, life's just been kind of a little hectic, busy. I had planned on doing something in particular, but Alas, it is, what, the 28th, I think, of June, and uh, I, I just realized that, realistically, I'm not going to be able to get out, like, that particular challenge uh, for you this month like I wanted to, um, but that just means I'm going to be doubling up on it uh, next month, which I'm super excited about. I already know what I'm going to be doing. Um, it was just a matter of fact of just getting that done this month. Realistically, it just did not happen. But, you know, my whole goal uh, through this entire series was mostly just to accomplish something or, or take on something new, something that makes you uncomfortable. And I think, in a way, um, something that I didn't really have planned um, was ha having a new job. I know that may seem like a cop-out, like, that doesn't, that doesn't work. In a way, I'm going to take it as a win uh, this month because most of the time, I mean, taking it, taking on a new job is not easy. It is daunting. It is intimidating, especially when you don't know what to expect. Like I literally went from one pond to the ocean, <laughs> like very, very, very different uh, worlds, very different uh, work environments. So, um, but I'm happy to say that it has been a huge blessing it, it honestly it's it's been so good for me and especially just the change of pace that it has brung um my working environment is a lot more positive positive. and like i know i said a few in a few videos ago you know my previous work environment was just not the most positive or uplifting it was uh very draining most of the time and especially as of the past year it really really started to take a toll on me I try to count my blessings in that because I am grateful that I did have the job that I did. You know, it was a good source of income for me at the time. And there was a lot of things that I learned from it. And I grew in that had I not taken the job, I wouldn't have. And so I am very grateful in that sense um, for the job and the time that I was there. Um, and that God just provided that for me. So there's a lot to take away from it. And I wanted to make sure that... In transitioning from that job to the job that I have right now I wanted to do it um, with a good attitude with a good heart which you know most of the time a lot of people are just like yeah screw you I'm gonna leave <laughs> but uh, no I'm, I'm happy to report that it actually I ended I personally ended on good terms at least I tried to with my former boss um, but you know in any realm of doing something new where you're going from one career field to the other, um, it can be intimidating. It can be uh, exhausting. It can be frightening because you don't know what to expect. Um, and I think, whoa, I got really bright. <laughs> All that to say is, yes, I do consider it, it kind of still working with, you know, at least challenging myself to do something that I'm uncomfortable with, that is intimidating, that challenges me, that's new. Um, so I, I understand, like, you might be thinking, like, oh, that doesn't, that's not a part of it. You didn't have that planned. And for that, I am sorry. <laughs> I did have, it wasn't like I went into this month not having any clue what I was going to do. Um, but it just, it, I mean, time flew. <laughs> It is insane how quick this month has gone. Like what, what even? I went to Texas the first week, first weekend kind of, of this month. And then right when I got back is when I started this new job. And then it's just been like, go, go, go ever since, which I know is a typical excuse. I try not to let that be an excuse to like conflict with your goals. And I also wanna make sure that the content that I'm putting out is not just for the sake of putting out content. Yes, it is my goal to at least put out a challenging video every single month, um, but you know, I just, it just didn't happen this week or this month. You know, this is all about challenging yourself. So because I technically, technically missed this month, um, 
in the month of June, I am just gonna double up on the challenges because why not? That sounds fun. Um, and now, especially since I'm kind of getting the hang of my, my new work schedule and, and, and everything like that, I'm like, okay, this is something, yeah, I can, I'm going to accomplish. So I needed to make a video just explaining that because I didn't want to be like, well, I didn't upload a video this month. Um, so I, I'm not a complete, complete loser. I am excited uh, for what this next month holds and all that that I that I have planned. Anyway, I hope you guys have been doing well. I uh, hope you've been having a good start to the summer so far. And let me know if you've been enjoying this series. Uh oh, I have a phone call. One sec. I'll tell you what. I've been getting spam call after spam call after spam call. I'm tired of spam calls, okay? I don't want your service. I don't want your internet. I don't know what you're trying to sell me, but stop calling me. If, if any of you can relate to that, you know how, how aggravating it can be. <laughs> but anyway, I uh, hope you all have been having a good start to the summer. Uh, like I said previously a few minutes ago <laughs> before I got rudely interrupted. And I'm excited to go in the month of July. Crazy. This year is just flying by. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week, day, whatever day of the week that it is that you're watching this video on. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>